have a Neanderthal in the chat. We have an ice dweller in the chat. Let me get rid of this ice dweller. Every time I go on a breakfast club, I end up with a thousand new ice dwelling followers. Now, to my Neanderthal family, if you want to follow the, the, the chat, you can follow the chat. If you want to follow the Instagram, you can follow the Instagram. I can't stop you. But please be respectful because this is an African space. My message is to my family. This is an African space. See, one of the white privileges that white people do not normally admit to, one of the white privileges that white people do not normally admit to is the privilege of invading the space of people who are less politically organized than themselves. Now, white people don't like black people invading their space. White people don't let black people invade their space. We can't walk into a white church and find out what's going on. We can't walk into a white business meeting and find out what's going on. We can't walk into a white community and go to one of their town hall meetings. We can't do that. White people don't even let us move into their neighborhoods. White people don't even let us move into their neighborhoods. That's how strict white folks are. They don't even let us move into their neighborhoods but white folks will invade a black meeting invade a black church invade a black instagram live like you people own you have all the power and all the resources you control all the power and all the resources why can't you allow us to just be by ourselves why can't you allow us to just be by ourselves I don't teach hatred of white people. I don't teach hatred of Asians. I've been getting some emails from people who are angry that I'm not out here championing the Asian uh, protection initiative. I don't have to champion that because I have never done anything to harm an Asian in my life. I don't know of a black person who has ever done anything to harm an Asian unprovoked now there's black people who have attacked asians because they were disrespected or were attacked by the asians but black people don't have a problem with asians black people don't have a problem with asians if you are going to argue that the american african has some sort of problem with asians if you're going to argue that we have a problem with asians then can you help me explain how we are being robbed to the tune of $30 billion a year by the Asian business community? Can, can, can you help me understand? If black people have a, a anti-Asian agenda, how is it that the Asians are able to rob us to a tune of $30 billion a year? Go to any black ghetto on the East Coast. Go to any black ghetto on the East Coast and our community is littered with Asian businesses. The black community is littered with Asian businesses. So if the black community, if the black community is littered with Asian businesses. If the black community is littered with Asian businesses, if the black community is littered with Asian businesses, how can we be anti-Asian when they've been robbing us to a tune of $30 billion a year? They damn near own the black beauty industry. The Asians basically own the black hair and beauty care industry. They own it. They own it. They own it. So how can we hate them when we shop from them every day? Most of the petty shops in the black community are Asian owned. How can we be anti-Asian? If anybody's anti-Asian, it would be the white folks. 
If anybody's anti-Asian, it would be the white folks. You know why I say that? And I'm not picking on you white folks. I'm just being honest. How many Asian corner stores do you find in a white community? How many Asian corner stores do you find in a white community? How many Asian stop and goes? How many Chinese fast food stores do you find in a white community? Who's really anti-Asian? Who's really anti-Asian? The Asian massacre in Atlanta, Georgia, and our heart goes out to the Asian community and their families for those women who were condolences to them. It should have never happened. It was wrong. That Asian massacre was carried out by a white man. That Asian massacre was carried out by a white man. How did Asian hate get a black face? How did Asian hate get a black face? Black people have never, ever, ever been guilty of random mass violence against any people in this country. If I'm wrong, prove it. Black people have never been guilty of random mass violence against any people in this country. You can when have we ever been guilty of random mass violence against European Jews? When have we ever been guilty of random mass violence against the Chinese and the Arabs and the East Indians? When have we ever been guilty of random mass violence against another people? We have never been guilty of random mass violence. But America? But America? But America? And her $500 billion a year media misinformation intellectual warfare system, because that's what it is. The media is informational and psychological warfare. America wants to put a black face on everything negative in this country. And the reason America wants to put a black face on everything negative in this country The reason America wants to put a black face on everything negative in this country is America has to destroy the image of black people so that the Holocaust will not be resisted by other people. Let me say this again. America needs to kill the image. America needs to crush the image. America needs to assassinate the image of the black man and woman in this country so the international community says nothing about it. So that the international community says nothing about it. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, we have a whole gangster rap community. We have a whole gangster rap community that for the last 30 years, I'm talking to you rappers. I'm not talking to the backpackers or the conscious rappers, but I'm talking to our chart topping so-called hip hop artists. I say so-called hip hop because hip hop is positive and progressive. Gangsta rap is not. Hip hop is positive and progressive. Gangsta rap is not. Hip hop is positive and progressive. Gangsta rap is not. But we have a whole army of gangsta rapping coons. We have a whole army of gangsta rapping coons whose music allows them to make enough money to send their kids to white private schools while their music sends your children to prison and to the cemetery. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. We have a whole community of gangster rapping coons whose music allows them to live in private white communities. These gangster rappers live in private white communities and they send their kids to private white academies. I'm going to say it again. These gangster rappers, these Grammy award winning gangster rappers make enough money 
to live in a white neighborhood and send their children to white private schools. But their music sends all of the other black kids to jail and to the cemetery. Now, I don't know what your definition of coon is. I don't know what your definition of sellout is. But if there is any definition of a sellout, the gangster rapper has to be at the top of the list with Jesse Lee Peterson. Whatever your definition of sellout, whatever your de definition of race trader, there is no way that the chart topping gangster rapper is not a coon. There's no way the average gangster rap artist is not a coon because your music allows you to live a bourgeoisie lifestyle amongst the whites and send your children to private white colleges and private white academies and private white Catholic schools. But your music motivates our kids to go to jail and go to the cemetery. And then on top of that, these gangster rappers, on top of that, these gangster rappers think they can come to the black community and throw a cookout. They're not going to build no schools. They're not going to build no hospitals. They're not going to build no banks. They're not going to build no supermarkets. They're not going to create no jobs except for their homies. That's it. No jobs. And they think that if they come back to the ghetto they grew up in and throw a block party, throw a cookout, give out some Christmas toys, give out some Thanksgiving turkeys, give out a couple jackets when it gets cold. And you think that that somehow absolves you of being responsible for a consistent toxic self-genocidal message of extermination you are out of your mind